pop quiz is a great way to engage students who are at home or in class. Remember, kids at home can access your portal and kids in class can access your portal. So let's close this window. And what we're gonna do is we're going to ask a question verbally. So the question is, how many miles does Ted's teacher run each day? I've already modeled it, and now I want students to send me their ideas, send me their responses. They can do that through what's called a pop quiz. Now, pop quiz is actually always running in the background, okay? It's not formal, it's not like where you start and stop it. You tell kids, hey, it's time to go do a pop quiz. So if we look over here at Blake's screen, remember Blake is my student, when he clicks on the pop quiz icon, this is going to open a new window. This is a whiteboard, digital whiteboard, that he can use to annotate an answer. If he has a touch screen, that's what that pin icon is for. Or if he doesn't have a touch device, he can type by clicking on the letter A. So we're gonna go ahead and have Blake respond to the question, how many miles does Ted's teacher run? And we're gonna see him showing his work here on the pop quiz window. So we're gonna use the pen and write out the problem, four fifths times six equals 24 fifths. And then when you wanna submit, you select the little blue button and it will say sending. Now that ding that you hear is on the teacher side. That's a notification that I've received a pop quiz. There are multiple ways to access the pop quiz. First, in the bell icon in the top right, I'll see here that it says Blake has shared his her sketch. If I click on that, that will open pop quiz. The other way that I can access pop quiz is through the magic box. So if I click the box in the main toolbar, you'll see this icon with fireworks. It says ABCD. This is the pop quiz tool. When I click or touch that, it's going to open the pop quiz window. Now you'll notice that there's a space to ask a question, but you don't actually have to utilize that space there. It could be on the slide, like I just showed you, like I just demonstrated. My question was actually on the slide. I don't need to write it again. Or I can just ask the question verbally, or I could, if I wanted to, write the question on the top. If I wanna hide the question area, down here at the bottom of Pop Quiz on the left, you'll see that there's an icon that has a question mark in it and then a line going through it. If I touch that, you'll see it actually hides the question area so we can actually see part of the canvas. Now I only have one student in my demo class right now, which is Blake, but I can see his response has populated here. If I have multiple students, their responses will continue to populate across the bottom of the screen. Notice that the responses are hidden. If I wanna reveal Blake's answer, I simply touch on his name and it's gonna show his sketch work there. Now if I wanna make it bigger, what I have to do is I actually have to do a right click motion on his answer to make it larger. So if I have a mouse, I can just right click, but since I'm on a touch display, I just hold it for a couple seconds. And you'll see there that it enlarges his response. This allows us as a whole class to see what Blake submitted, what he sent, but it also allows me as the teacher to maybe push the thinking of my class. So down here, I have different pen colors that I can choose from as the teacher. I'll use blue so it's not necessarily as harsh. And I can now come to Blake's work and I can say, oh great, 24 fifths. Do we agree, disagree? Do one of those kinds of things. But I can also come in here and say, do you agree or disagree that 24 fifths is also equal to four and four fifths? So it's just a nice way to interact with students who are physically in class or kids who uh, physically can't be with you. Now, if I wanna return back to my full class responses, I just hit the back button down here in the bottom left corner and it takes me back. And notice that any annotations that I've added are saved on top of Blake's sketch. Now, when I'm done talking about this question, I can move on 
to another question and student answers will continue to populate. If, however, I want to save this one session, this one question that I've just asked, I can save it by going to the floppy disk in the bottom right corner. If I click the Save button, it's going to open up my file management window. And you'll notice that I can save to my local storage, or if I have cloud connected to my, my Viewboard account, I can choose the cloud. So for example, I can go in here to My Drive, choose a folder that I want to save this in, and down here, I just choose the folder, touch the check mark, and you see now it's uploading all the responses into that particular folder so I can go back and review them later. It just depends on if you want to be able to save the responses, if that's important to you, or if you just want to erase them, it doesn't matter. So again, quick review. I'll have Blake uh, clear out his pop quiz window there by using the trash can. I'm going to make another just blank page and give you another example of how you can quickly use pop quiz. So this time I'm just going to verbally ask a question. I'm not going to write it. So remember, pop quiz is in the magic box, which is in the main toolbar. Find the fireworks icon. This shows all the responses. Now remember, I haven't reset this yet. So in order to reset it, I have to touch the circle icon. It looks like a curved arrow. It'll ask me if I want to save. I've already saved, so I don't need to save again. So I'm just going to choose no. And now you'll see the responses have been cleared. So I'm ready for my next question. This time, I'm just going to ask a verbal question. I'm going to say, hey, how's everybody feeling right now about multiplying fractions? So I'm just using this as a quick check for understanding. I'm going to say, draw me an emoji of how you're feeling about multiplying fractions. So then students can go into pop quiz like Blake is here. They can draw their emoji, or if they want to type a response, they're more than welcome to. But again, it's just a nice way to engage kids. How are you feeling? Especially when you can't physically see them, can't see their confused face. You can't see their smiley or their sad or angry face. So Blake's response has come in. If you remember from before, all I had to do is touch Blake's response, and then I can see what he's submitted. Again, pop quiz is a great way to engage students.